Hey guys, Hank Lynch here doing my uh, video log over my persuasive speech and I'm going to answer the questions that we had. Um, what was the purpose of the speech? Uh, I thought the purpose was to practice and work on organization and research and maybe with using note cards during your speech about over an audience. And okay, the next one. How did I feel going into this presentation? Um, I felt really nervous and I don't know, for some reason this speech I just felt different, like, I'm not really sure how to explain it, but I just, I didn't feel my same way that I, like, I would, didn't feel comfortable, I should say, and, um, I don't know, it just felt different, I didn't really, didn't really enjoy this speech very much. Um, did your speaker anxiety increase or decrease as you began your speech? It increased immensely, um, I had, I had trouble with this speech. Uh, I didn't even use my note cards because I couldn't. I just kept breaking up paragraphs and I couldn't. I couldn't keep anything together, so it was really tough for me this speech. But uh, I got through it. Um, next question: What was your technology adequately prepared, and what could be done differently? Um, yes, I think it was prepared pretty well, and maybe next time I will try um, to get a little better quality in my camera or set up my audience. A little differently. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that, but uh, I'll figure out something to make it more clear and maybe a little better lighting. I struggled with that in one of my other speeches, so hopefully I can uh, improve on that. In terms of structure and organization, what element did I feel natural and what felt odd? Um, my introduction and conclusion always feel like really strong to me. That's just, I feel like those are my strong points when I'm giving a speech and things like that. Um, the thing that felt odd was my transitions. I felt like they didn't really link together very well or things like that. So maybe I can work on transitions making, you know, doing it a little better. Uh, how did you consider your audience when developing your speech and how did your audience respond to your speech? I think they might have thought a little bit different about legalizing marijuana. I mean, after I told them a few facts about the tax revenue and how it can increase and help our country and help people with pain and help people get out of depression and things. I just feel like, I don't know, maybe they look at it differently now. I was, I was not going to lie, back in the day I hated everything about marijuana. I didn't, you know, didn't want anything to do with it. And I hated it and didn't think it should be legalized. And then I actually found out a little information about it because when I got to high school, I graduated with a kid who had uh, back problems and he had medical marijuana, so I feel like that changed my mind a little bit. Um, what did you do in your speech that worked? What didn't work? What areas can you target from? I need to improve my transitions and my note cards did not work. I need to improve on that. I don't know. I, I got my note cards. I wrote them out and I, every time I um, went on them, I couldn't keep anything together. I just, I would talk on it for two seconds and then I'd look up at my audience and I'd lose everything. I just couldn't. I had to go for memorization and do the best I could. I could not. I just couldn't do it very well. So hopefully if I ever use note cards again, I can be more relaxed and deal with that a little better. And the last question, connect your learning experiences to the class readings and concepts. Um, in chapter 16, uh, we talked about language and narratives in your speech, like little stories. And on page 147 is it, when it talks about it specifically. Um, I use a little story, how I told you earlier, about my friend back home that has back problems and how he is um, using medical marijuana and how he benefits from it a little bit. And that little story just kind of, I don't know, made me relate to my topic a little bit. Maybe it helped somebody in my audience relate to it. But other than that, that is my reflective blog.